the Yu-Gi-Oh -Oh deck I'll be looking at today is called Gold Pride. This deck is... The cards almost n have nothing in common. They don't have attributes in common, they don't have stats in common, they don't have even type in common. But they all have a unifying effect. The main, the cards in the main deck have a unifying effect, where if you're lower life prints in your opponent, especially from your hand. I'll go over the cards one by one. The pirate makes it so, if it's normal special summon, you can add a gold pride trap from your deck to your hand. But you can want to do that if this card is sent from the graveyard, sent to the graveyard, you can target one gold pride monster you control. With special summon from the extra deck, banish three gold pride, up to three gold pride cards from your graveyard, and if you do, that monster gains five attack for each one banished. Each effect is hard once per turn. The only trap you can search is this one. Gold Prime Leo has irrelevant stats, makes it so it can special summon itself in the hand if your life points are lower than your opponents. If it's normal special summon, you can target a non warrior gold pride monster in your graveyard, special summon in defense position, but you can't special summon monsters for the rest of the turn from your extra deck except gold pride monsters. It also, during your opponent's main phase, you can quick sync it to any monster, but you can only use gold pride monsters to make it. Each of those effects are individually has its own hard ones per turn. Of course, its effect to revive something summons it in defense position. So you can't bring back, let's say, a link monster, for example. Then we have Nitro Head, and it has the same effect to summon itself. During your opponent's standby phase, you can special summon Nitro Token. It's irrelevant. Of what its stats actually do. It cannot be, it goes to your opponent's field wherever you want, and it cannot be used as Link Material. During your opponent's main phase, as a quick effect, you can target one Nitro token on the field. Destroy that token. Also, destroy all cards in the adjacent main monsters, adjacent monster zones, and spell and trap card zones. You can only use each effect once per turn. The Crown Goes Wild is our only spell card. So we reveal a gold prime monster in our hand, we add a different one from our deck to our hand, then we can also special summon it, but any gold prime monster from our hand, it does not have to be the one we added, or the one we revealed. We special summon it, and then we lose life points equal to that monster's range of attack. We can only activate one of these per turn. This is our deck starter. Then our one trap, gold pride, start your engine, makes it so. You reveal, after your opponent normal special summons, you target one of those monsters, reveal three gold pride monsters from your deck. It does not have to be different cards. It can all be the same one. Your opponent picks one of them, random pick picks one of them, and you shuffle the rest back into your deck, and you summon the one your opponent picked. You destroy the card you target. So, we reveal three of the same card, and we, get in, we destroy one of the opponent's cards. Let's go over the extra deck. Nitro Blast takes two gold prize with different levels, so we have to use Nitro Head and either of our level 3s. It can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, then if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can destroy all cards in the adjacent monster zone and spell and trap card zone. Yeah, you can only do that once per turn. That was in fact once per turn during the end phase. If this card the effect was activate this turn, return this to the next trick, and if you do, special turn 1, gold pride now your head from your deck or graveyard. So, after you, you can quickly go into this thing by taking your natural head and one of your other cards, get rid of one of your opponent's monsters and everything around it, then during your end phase, bring back yourself a natural head. And give your opponent your, your token. And next we have our synchro monster. Star Leo, a level 6, so it takes our level 3 and our non level 3. Of course, it's completely generic material, so you can go outside of the archetype if you see fit. But the only tuner we have in archetype makes so we have to use the pirate and Leo. Its effect is during the main phase as a quick effect, you can target one phase up monster your opponent controls. It, this card gains attack equal to that target's original attack. Then, if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can destroy that monster. You can only do that once per turn. During your end phase, you put it back into your extra deck and summon yourself a Leo from your deck or grave. Very similar to this card. That's you destroy winning punch cards, but this thing gains attack instead. And it seems like the attack lasts forever, but it doesn't really matter because it's going away 
eventually anyway. Also, notice how down here, the last effect, it is mandatory. So it will be triggering during the end phase no matter what you try to do.